Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I'm coming at you with another eating from the dumpster video. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so we are just going to start off the video and this video is going to include clips of everything that I eat within the next week or so that has come for free from the grocery store's dumpsters while that I get while dumpster diving. Um, you will not see me getting any of it in this video. There won't be any clips from the dumpster. But if you do want to see those, go ahead and check out other videos on my channel. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, we are starting off this morning with my favorite easy, fast breakfast of two pieces of bacon, two eggs, and then today I made a little smoothie that is just bananas, peanut butter, water and a little bit of the green powder that I use. And he's given like a weird little wonky eyed face look. <laughs> but this is one of my go-to breakfasts and this season I have found tons of egg tons of eggs and tons of bacon. So I'm very grateful for that because I eat this often. So that's our first meal of the day. Okay, so next in the video, I'm going to have some free pumpkin pie. And as you can see, I've already had a slice the other day. Um, but I've had this in my freezer since before Thanksgiving. If you remember, I found a whole bunch of pumpkin pies from Aldi back then. And it's I took it out of my freezer a few days ago. I've had it in the fridge and I love pumpkin pie. So I'm so excited that I have this during February, which I don't know, it's not like the most exciting month. It's kind of dreary. So this pumpkin pie will lift my spirits. And I usually just eat it right out of the pan. Why dirty a plate? <laughs> Moving right along with the meals, I am making a little Alfredo here. I have a few of the um, spinach pasta nests in the water over here, just boiling. I have butter melting in the pot or in the pan right here, and I do not have heavy cream. I do have half and half, so we're gonna try it. Hope that it works um, in place of heavy cream, and then I'm still using all of that fresh Parmesan I found a while ago. I'm going to make some of the Alfredo sauce, and then I have some mushrooms soaking, and it's just going to be great. So I'm going to get going and hope it works. All right, sauce is good. I think the half and half worked out fine. I also added some salt, pepper, and onion powder. I have some of the frozen spinach that I found um, a while ago. Just kind of heating up in the pan. The noodles are done. I'm going to combine everything. I saved just a little bit of cheese to put on top. And maybe I will grab some of the rotisserie chicken that I canned. We did it. It is all plated. Um, I will say the sauce got a little bit coagulated. I'm not sure if it's because of the half and half or what, but it's still going to be great. I did end up sprinkling a little bit of the green powder on top just for some added nutrients. That is just dehydrated um, leafy greens. And then I did put in one of the half pint containers of... Canned, we have a little beggar here, <laughs> um, canned rotisserie chicken. So this is one of my go-to meals I've said in the past, and it is one of my favorites, and it is free. All right, next thing I'm eating, which I've already started, as you can see, I'm just having some naan that I took out of my freezer today um, to try to make a little bit more room, so I'm going to utilize that. And I am dipping it in some of the jalapeno artichoke dip um, that I just found recently. And then I'm going to add some berry sangria crystal light to my water. Just spice it up a little bit. So that's it for now. Prepping for the next meal here, I'm going to make what I've seen a lot of people call like a Mississippi roast. I know a lot of people make this with chicken, like Mississippi chicken, but I'm going to use whatever kind of cut of beef this is that I found from Aldi. It didn't have any labeling on it. And um, then on top of that, I put a, ground, a brown gravy packet that I got from the Aldi dumpster. The ranch dressing is the only thing that I did actually purchase. Um, I didn't purchase it specifically for this. I just had it in my pantry. So that is a little bit of a cheat for our dumpster meal, but that's okay. Uh, there's a fourth a cup of water in here, some butter, which isn't real butter, but that's okay. And then usually you put pepperoncinis on it, which I don't have on hand. I do have these banana pepper rings that I found at the Dollar General dumpster. 
Um, so I put those in and then a bit of the juice from that as well in my crock pot here. And I'm just going to put it on low for some hours and hope it's delicious. I'll let you guys know. Fast forward and here we are. I had it on low for about four to four and a half hours. Um, it did get pretty hot in my crock pot. The recipe said eight hours, but I knew that was going to be way too many. And it smelled so good when I walked in. So I just paired it with some, well, the rest of the frozen green beans that I had right there, as well as, let me move my finger, um, a few of the fresh potatoes that I found. I just boiled them and squished them with my fork a little bit. I like the skins, plus all the gravy from in the crock pot. It smells so good. I'm very excited to eat this. Keeping it easy again today. We are having a little drizzle right now that's supposed to turn into an ice storm. So we're going to have, well, when I say we're, I mean me. I'm going to have some of the Panera baked potato soup, which looks really tasty. I put some of the Parmesan cheese right on top. I'm going to finish up. This is the last of the first batch of homemade kombucha I had, and then I will um, do the second fermentation on the next batch that I had started. Uh, it's been very tasty. I am happy that I took on that endeavor. And then odd, but I'm making two eggs as well. <laughs> so that's going to be my meal for the day. Next meal on the menu um, is breakfast, and I'm having some of this Quaker chocolate oatmeal. And someone told me in the comments that this was not good, and I, I have to agree with them. It does not taste the greatest. Uh, so I loaded it up with some peanut butter and bananas as well. So hopefully that'll make it taste pretty good. Next meal in my life of eating from the dumpster is breakfast yet again. If you can't tell by this video, I do love a good breakfast. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to have some more pancakes with bacon, maybe an egg, I'll have to decide, and then a fruit salad over here. Delicious. Next up on free food find fun, <laughs> um, I'm going to work on some canning, and I am going to can some um, strawberry lemonade starter, which is fun. Uh, it's from the Ball Recipe website, um, and I have never done it before, so I'm excited. It's a fun one, and it'll be nice to have on hand in the summertime especially, so what I did to start out was I juiced all of the lemons that I have found recently. I think it's going to be more than I need, but I will just go ahead and make some fresh right now. In this fabulous juicer that I also found in the Aldi dumpster years ago, and it is awesome. It is a beast. It works so great. I love that find. And then I have six cups of strawberries blended right here. Um, it's kind of hard to measure strawberries because they're very obtuse, but <laughs> I think I did all right. So that is pureed strawberries. I'm going to put that in here along with four cups of the lemon juice and then six cups of sugar from that giant, giant bag that I found at Gordon's a while ago and uh, get it heated to 190 degrees before we put it in the canner. It is a pressure canner, but I am just going to use it as a water bath canner today. I'm excited. Strawberry lemonade concentrate is coming to a little simmer over here and right here I have the water starting to heat up a bit and the can or not the cans the jars um, heating up in there as well. Look how great they look all in their jars with the lids ready to go and I'm about to put them in the water bath for 15 minutes of processing time. And my kitchen is an absolute mess, but that is a problem for future me, because <laughs> this looks great. We are sat out of the canner for a while. The rings are off. All of the lids have sealed. And I have seven pints of strawberry lemonade concentrate. So this is fun. And then when I'm ready to use it, I just mix it with um, one part concentrate, three parts water. And lemonade it is. So that's very exciting. <laughs> Next up on the dinner menu here, I have Panera Bread Asiago Mac and Cheese, which I had frozen, um, and I forgot to thaw out, but that's okay. It's still coming along great. Don't mind my pan. It's not looking too great right now. Um, but it's in here. I added a little bit of the chopped frozen spinach and then some of the sauceless pulled pork, and of course, I'm going to serve that with a Diet Coke. But in real life, this looks really tasty. So I'm excited to eat this right now. 
All right, I'm gonna finish off my video with a little dessert here of these Chokies chocolate chip cookie packs. Super easy. Um, I didn't do tons of like extravagant cooking in this video, but sometimes that's just how it goes. However, it was still all free and all delicious. And even what I don't film, 99% of the time is from the dumpster. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful for everybody who tunes in and watches my videos and leaves comments down below. And I'm very thankful for my cats. <laughs> but that's it for today. So as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel down below, Dumpster Cam. And I will be back soon with more dumpster diving, food, cat, house, fun, and other videos. Thank you, guys.